Good morning. Welcome to today's Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is, can you copyright an art style? Can you stop someone from copying your art style? About the copyright, the answer is no. You cannot copyright an art style. According to several court rulings, you can see, for example, David Grossman Designs vs. Sporting, a style is merely an ingredient of your creative expression. And copyright can only protect the finished artwork, not the process, not the idea, and not the art style. And there has to be a substantial similarity between the artwork and the copy to be considered a copyright infringement. The court's ruling said, the law of copyright is clear that only specific expressions of an idea may be copyrighted, and the other parties may copy that idea, but may not copy that specific expression of the idea or portions thereof. For example, Picasso may be entitled to have a copyright on his portrait of three women painted in his cubist motif. Any artist, however, may paint a picture of any subject in the cubist motif, including a portrait of three women, and not violate Picasso's copyright, so long as the second artist does not substantially copy Picasso's specific expression of his idea. Well, it's clear that copyright laws can only protect your artwork but not your art style. But can you protect your style and prevent other artists from you know, doing the same? I think so. Uh, companies are doing that all the time. Uh, a company designs a product and launches it into a market and the company will do its best to prevent its competitors from launching similar products and taking that market. And the companies are doing it so well, so we have to have um, antitrust laws to prevent a company from taking over the whole market and become monopoly. I'll give you three examples of how you can protect your art style. Number one, become a reference in your style. So if you are a reference in your style and you can even name the art style under your own name so that you can call it you know, the Van Gogh style, the Monet style, the Picasso style. You can imagine how, how it is when you mention the name of the artist. When you become so famous from your art style, other artists will try to copy your art style, imitate you, and they will create uh, fan art. Not fan art, but fan art. And that's not a bad thing. The only downside may be you may be trapped or you may be observed or even imprisoned by your own art style because you're so famous uh, from this style and you will not be able to uh, create or try something else. But that is really a luxury problem to have. Personally, I don't know many artists around me who are suffering from this problem. You know, it's a, it's a good problem to have. Number two, constantly innovate. I don't know if you know this uh, British inventor called James Dyson, and he has a company called Dyson. They created a bladeless fan that doesn't have blade, and it doesn't have the buffering. It's very clean, it's very safe for children, and it's very quiet. Uh, it's good stuff. I have a couple of them myself, and uh, I have to say I'm a fan of the Dyson fan. They have a big uh, lawyer team, and they patent, they copyright, they, <laughs> they register trademark, they register the design. They have all the ways to protect their intellectual property rights. However, 10 years afterward, there is a handful of companies uh, who are creating the bladeless fan right now. And you know, it doesn't mean that when you're the first one who invented this, you can sit there and just don't do anything for the rest of your life. No, you have to constantly innovate, beat your competitors and be the top of your game. Number three, make it really difficult to copy. This may sound easy, but it's the most difficult thing to do. In China, we have a lot of counterfeits. This is no news, I'm not gonna lie about it. Uh, you can find easily counterfeited Louis Vuitton bags, although the law enforcement has been really strict on that, but you can. But you cannot find so many uh, Mercedes-Benz engines being counterfeited because it's really difficult to counterfeit. And it's almost impossible, even if you have the blueprint in front of you, it's really, really hard to copy a Mercedes-Benz engine. So that's another way to stop others from counterfeiting or copying your art style. So there's no point of telling other people to not copy your art style. It's not about telling them not to do, but it's about what you can do to improve your art style all the time. You can be well-known, established like Picasso. 
You can be constantly innovating like Dyson, and you can provide a state-of-art cutting-edge technology technique or technology like Mercedes to protect your art style and prevent your competitors from copying your art style. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.